Consuming this one food is going to help you stay healthy during self-isolation and you'll be putting a live food inside your body full of antioxidants, it's cancer fighting, it's just so good. We're going to reduce that inflammation through food that you've made yourself and I can't even think of a better thing for all of us to be doing right now. Hi, I'm Shelley and welcome to Fabulous 50s. And in today's video, I want to explain to you the benefits of eating broccoli sprouts, show you how easy they are to make with a step-by-step -step guide and explain to you why broccoli sprouts can help us in so many ways. And it all comes down to reducing inflammation. And you might ask, what's inflammation got to do with the virus and what's going on at the moment? Well, it's all about stress and the effects of stress on our body. What's happening at the moment is the whole world is stressed for very, very good reason. And stress occurs when life events surpass our ability to cope. It causes the body to produce greater levels of the stress hormone cortisol. And over time, this opens the door to even more inflammation. So going back to life events surpass our ability to cope, nothing could be further from the truth right now for every single person on the planet. It's just too much to even comprehend what's happened and that stress turns into inflammation. Inflammation is the body's response to a threat, whether it's foreign like a virus or emotional like stress, anxiety, worry or depression. Think of inflammation as a sickness behavior because it causes your body to act fluish even when you don't have a flu or a virus. And could you see how that would happen as we're stressing because it seems like everything's out of control. The inflammation's rising through our body and it's making us feel like we've got the flu whether we do or we don't. And the likelihood of developing other conditions in our body through inflammation gets higher and higher the more we stress. So we've got to reduce our stress some way even though the world is so stressful at the moment. And one way we can do that is just by consuming broccoli sprouts. It will help reduce our inflammation and that's going to help lower our body, lower the cortisol so that we can get well. And I've been following the research of Dr. Rhonda Patrick and she's found that there are immense benefits if we consume broccoli sprouts on a daily basis. I'm gonna show you how to make them in a few moments. It is so easy, you're not going to believe it. The level of difficulty is one out of 10 or zero out of 10 because everybody can do it. And I'm sure that once you start doing this and including broccoli sprouts into your diet while you're at home, you're going to be amazed. And here's the thing, we don't have to leave the house, we don't have to go out and buy it and we don't have to rely on the availability of fresh produce. This is what you make at home and you'll be putting a live food inside your body full of antioxidants. It's cancer fighting. It's just so good. We're going to reduce that inflammation through food that you've made yourself and I can't even think of a better thing for all of us to be doing right now. Start by washing your hands thoroughly with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. Step one, take a clean mason jar and it doesn't matter what size, you can start experimenting as we go through. Step two, measure two to three tablespoons of broccoli sprout seeds and add them to your jar. Now you don't have to get this perfect because it doesn't really matter, just experiment as you go. Step three, soak the seeds in water for about six hours or you can leave it overnight. Just leave it on the sink and come back when you're ready. Step four, drain out all of that water and then we're going to begin the rinse and drain process. Rinse the seeded sprouts with water, swirl around and then empty out. Step five, drain the jar on a tilt for about 12 hours. And step six is to rinse and drain twice a day for five to six days. So I do one in the morning and then one at night before I go to bed. Super, super easy. This is the sprouts on day five with two tablespoons of seeds and this one's three tablespoons worth of seeds. 
And step seven is we take the sprouts out of the jar, we rinse them and then they're ready to eat. It's that simple. Rinse one last time, try and shake out all those little seeds that you can see. Don't worry about eating them, they're not harmful. Place your gorgeous garden crop on a paper towel and let them continue to drain. See, you can see the little unsprouted seeds, but don't worry about those. Just rinse and drain. This is probably the easiest thing you're ever going to make and you can use them in salads, omelettes, soups, smoothies or on crackers. And I've made another video on all the benefits of broccoli sprouts, including how you increase the benefits of the sulforaphane when you freeze them. Check out the link above. Share this video out with your friends and family so that everybody that you know and love can be doing something positive for their own health. And subscribe to Fabulous 50s if you want more videos and tips on how to stay strong and healthy and well and vital. And give a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. And remember, it's your job to keep your stress levels down. And the next best thing we can do from today is exercise because that's going to reduce our cortisol as well. So this workout is fantastic to reduce your stress and this stretch routine is going to help with your mobility and keep you flexible. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay strong and do everything you can to keep yourself healthy.